Today's problem is a ball of weight Q equal to 12 LB rests in a right angle trough as shown in figure. Determine the forces exerted on the sides of the trough at D and E if all surfaces are perfectly smooth. So here is a right angled uh, trough that is channel. So a ball of weight 12 LB is resting in this uh, channel. So this side of the angle is 60 degrees and this side of the angle is 30 degrees. So we need to find in this problem the forces exerted by this uh, ball on this side of the wall that is BC and force exerted by this ball on this side of the um, wall that is AB. So at D. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. So here the ball and right angle channel are re redrawn here. So this side of the angle is 60 degrees, this side 30 degrees and Q weight is acting downwards. So in this picture forces and reactions are depicted. So force uh, due to weight of the ball will be acting downwards and a reaction of this side of the channel will be having uh, a direction towards this towards the center of the ball that is denoted as re and a reaction of this side of the wall on this ball acting towards this direction towards the center of the ball that is denoted as rd now let us draw this force and reactions on xy plane so the weight weight q is acting downwards rd is acting towards this direction so here RD is depicted here and angle here is 30 degrees. So if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle will be 60 degrees and this angle will be 90 degrees. If that is the situation, then angle between vertical and this RD will be 30 degrees again. So that is shown here. So angle between this vertical line and RD is 30 degrees. Similarly, uh, this angle is 60, this will be 30 and this is 90. So angle between RE and vertical will be 60 degrees again. So that is shown here. RE is drawn towards this direction. So angle between RE and vertical is 60 degrees. So total angle angle between RE and RD will be 90 degrees. So Q is acting downwards. So angle between RD and Q will be 180 degrees minus 30 that is 150 degrees. Similarly angle between RE and Q will be 180 degrees minus 60 degrees that is 120 degrees. Now let us write Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem is Q by sin 90 degrees equal to RD by sin 120 degrees that is also equal to RE by sin 150 degrees that is written here. So from first and second terms we get RD equal to Q sin 120 by sin 90. So after substituting the values and simplification we get RD is 10.4 LB. Similarly, from first and the last terms, uh, we get RE equal to Q sin 150 by sin 90. So again, after substituting the values and simplification, we get RE is 6 LB. To watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video.